Okay, so um, these first 24 pages are looking interesting. So this is just some general notes for everybody. So one of the things that I'm seeing is um, how you are all uh, sort of pulling through making decisions about presenting your typeface and the ideas that you have. Um, a lot of you I see are doing sort of very, um, what I would consider very decorative off the grid pages, which is totally fine. I want you to start looking at the overall, for example, here shown at this page where you can see sort of like thumbnails. The only thing I'm not quite sure about this is here why they're little squares because these pages are not square. These are long sort of uh, uh, longer pages, you know what I mean? Rectangular pages, excuse me. So I'm wondering um, if, if it is the off the grid, it's just more attractive to a lot of you. Um, you know, for example, here in this Times New Roman, there's this massive long list which is totally fine, but I wonder you have 36 pages. If the idea is a newspaper, why isn't this pull through 36 pages, right? So I'm just gonna click on here, right? So for example, dealing with this text. I would also say that a lot of you, and this is for in general for everybody, needs to start looking at dashes. This is not an end dash. This is a tilde, which is sort of a different function. Now you can play with that, but it, it makes sense to me that, mm, I don't know, this is a typographic, um, specimens, I will start looking at that, spacing from 1981 to Rupert Murdoch. Lots of you, and I'm going to just use this as an example, lots of you are now playing enough with the letting. Start playing with the letting. If you have a footnote, how does it footnote distinguish from the rest of the text? That's really important. How does the type size distinguish from the rest of the text? It all feels like it's the same size. That's what I'm getting at. Um, Right, so I'm just wondering why things are so tight. You have 36 pages. If your idea of this is a timeline of newspapers, then make it a timeline. But I think one of the things that's happening here is it's becoming a newspaper and a timeline. So spread that out. You have 36 pages. Select some of the items from there, right? Um, we got here, we have the idea of signage because the typeface originally was created for signage, um, warning signs. So that's already been played out, but things like the dashes, end dash, right? Widows, this is where we start looking at the mechanics of type, this line dropping here, right? Um, if you justify, you need to make sure that there's no rivers. You need to track this text that a lot of you have an aversion to tracking text. You need to add some tracking. Body copy usually requires you add some tracking out. Two, three, four, five point of tracking out so that the text starts getting comfortable. Again, what distinguishes a footnote from the page number from the body copy? Um, and in many ways, start looking at rags. Okay, this text looks like it's tracked out. This does not. Notice the difference. It gets a little more comfortable. This might be too tracked out. Right, so these, again, these are just general notes. Look at that. This is a dash. This is a hyphen, not an end dash. So you got to figure out what that is. Um, the other thing that I'm wondering is also it's very important for you to figure out and, and, and make decisions on how you are going to um, tell that story and what is the idea. Again, some of you I, I feel like are still playing around. I want you to make specific decisions about this is a this publication is about showing signage. The idea is that these are signs. So make the publication start speaking like signage, right? That's where your research comes into play. Be careful with your typefaces. Do not drop out. Several of you have dropped text and you end up with some examples of things that look like this. Look, the typeface dropped. That's really important. You need to figure that out. So one of the things I guess is what I'm looking at in general as I'm looking at everybody's stuff so far is that I'm not getting a sense of how you're pacing the story. So maybe it is about your design on 36 pages and then you can put them together. That's one way of working on a book. The other way is go back, start backwards and say, what is the system? How am I arranging this? What pages go where? How many, how, how, what's the type size for things? What does this type side mean? What does this one mean? What does this other one mean? And I, I understand that I completely restricted 
the type size that you're using, and here's the, the Fibonacci scale. But what I would like to do is I'm going to open it up so you can use whatever type size you want. And the letting, you have a three point uh, baseline grid, so you can use three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. And remember, the letting, the tighter it is, the more difficult it is to read, especially in Ceres, because the Ceres will crash, the descenders and the ascenders. Um, or the looser the letting is, the more difficult it is because the train of thought starts getting um, more difficult to understand visually by the reader. But what does what are you saying when you do that, right? So what are you saying when you put things on a specific area on the page? So I want more specific detail. And I feel like um, a lot of you, so the homework for this week is to really go through and detail these 24 pages. Be really, really specific. All you have to do is go back on these 24 pages and make very specific decisions. I'm really interested to see if you can literally tease out your idea about this. And I'm going to speak to each of you individually. Um, uh, I'm going to send you each an individual critique on your, pub on your publications. Um, one thing that I'm noticing is a lot of the, the cut and paste posters um, seem, some of you are, some of you seem to be sort of kind of getting shy of those so i'm wondering what's going on more um so i want to see a little more a little more detail we got some really nice work going on here um, i also want to see some really specific craft so this here see i see how the shadows all these shadows pop up i want to see that all gone that's partly because you're cutting the letters themselves when you don't have to you can just cut the you know, the space around. You don't have to worry about cutting the letter exactly. Um, again, look at this, justify, but look at this river. I want this, you know, adjusted. Um, so I would like to, you know, here's plant, here's this, right? So there's a nice playoff of the small size versus the large size and how that plays off the detail that that eludes. All these you know, all these marks around, this frame of information that's running around, right? this contrast, notice that, notice how things are going off the page. So um, I'm interested in more detail. So your homework this week literally is to go through these 24 pages and clarify what your idea is and how you are making choices that clearly present that. If your idea is a newspaper, then what is the, news, the language of a newspaper that you would like to use to clearly tell this story typographically? Um, you have 36 pages, but you only have to work on 1 through 24 and clarify it. Okay, so I will send you each individual critiques. So I will talk to you individually. All right, bye.